the Olympic champion in the team, European champion, 2022 Russian figure skater Kamila Valiva published in social networks photo, in which she poses in a white dress with crinoline and cleavage from the Moscow fashion house Edom Couture. The shot was taken at the fitting of the dress with silk shells. The shortened front of the dress reveals the graceful ankles of a girl wearing silver high-heeled sandals. In the 2022-23 season, Valyeva, who turned 17 on April 26, won two Russian Grand Prix events in the national championship and jumping. In the final of the Russian Grand Prix and at the national championship Camilla won silver medals. Note that the investigation of Camilla Valiva in the Court of Arbitration for Sport CAS, has not yet been completed. Camilla Valiva spoke about the programs she skates on the show Champions on Ice by Athera Tutberidze's group. These are the Olympic Bolero with live music performed by the trio Bel Suono and a joint program with Anna Skrbekova and Alina Zagatova to a Beyoncé song. What's the different feeling when performing to live music? When such professionals play, somehow there is even a responsibility, a very strong admiration, these people are very cool, they accompanied me. How unusual is it to skate in the same room as the other singles? I don't know it's okay, on the contrary, it's interesting. And with such famous athletes and such a beautiful number. Do you agree with the message of the song? Women rule the world? I do not know, it's kind of an ambiguous question, let me not answer it, laughs. If you want to see the full performance of Camilla Valuva, Alina Zagatova and Anna Skrbekova on the show of Athair Tutberids, Go to our website figureskating.org at the link in the description. How important is spectator support for skaters? At the competitions, it's very important how you are greeted, how they react to some of your elements, how they react to your skating in general. And here, at the show, everyone is warmly welcomed. It's definitely incredibly nice that the audience comes, supports not only at the competition, but also at the show, Valiva said. Camilla Valiva talked about which of her 2022-23 season performances was the most memorable and explained why. The highlight of the season? Oh my god, laughs. The same Russian jumping championships is one of the highlights of the season, because when I was going into the individual event, I didn't think I was going to make every attempt. The championship of Russia, the way I prepared and the results, it is, let's say, a competitive miracle laughs. There was a hard preparation for the Russian championship. At the Grand Prix finals I did a triple axle in training, but it didn't work out there, and in the free skating event the elements fell off. It must have been the most emotional and brightest start because it was in St. Petersburg. How will I recover? I do not know, let's see how I will, smiling. While we're skating through the show, it also gives you confidence in something, in some of the jumps. Of course, that kind of energy comes from the audience, it's incredibly gratifying. Plans for the new season? We still have time before it, so let's finish this season and then we will talk about the new season, said Valiva. Yelizaveta Tuktamasheva, the 2015 World and European Champion and Silver Medalist at the 2021 World Championships in Women's Single Skating, talked about how she chooses her numbers for the ice show. How do I get into roles? I get up and get into it, laughs. We usually pick music that I feel, I never skate to music I don't like. When you feel the music, it's basically easy for you. And working with a choreographer off the ice helps. How do I choose what to skate at a show? Each show has different energy and style, so I do more lyrical more soulful characters, and here I want more active, bright characters. I have a choice in different shows, thank God, so here we decided to do Sparkling Diamonds, and Ilya Snow and the Girl and the Sea. Which images are closer? I like both of them. It's the mood. I don't have any ideas for the new season yet, said Tuktamasheva. Anastasia Tarakanova turned 19. On this occasion the athlete pleased herself and her fans with hot pictures. Fans met Nastia's photo shoot in different ways, some compared it to the daughter of Vincent Castle and Monica Bellucci Maiden, and some thought the shots were successful. 
Daniel Glaikinhaus, the choreographer and director of the group of Atari Tutbirds, told how the idea of the number with the three Olympic champions, Alina Zagatova, Kamila Voliva and Anna Skrbakova, for the show champions on ice appeared. How did the idea to create a number with three Olympic champions come about? We had to make a new opening by popular demand and, accordingly, I wanted more general numbers, to develop our show. Atari Georgievna and I discussed that the boys number wouldn't have made that much of an impression yet, I wanted to do both the girls and the boys numbers. But we wouldn't have had enough boys of our own, and we wouldn't have had time to rehearse so much with the boys from the other groups. That's why we decided that there would only be a female number. We chose the music, because it is driving and I like the message, who run the world? Girls. It was fun to show that we have three Olympic champions and they really rule the world. Everything matched here, the costumes, the girls, the number. A little bit different closing, but very driving. What song would you take for the boys? When the boys get together, I'll ask Beyonce to reprise, who run the world? Boys. How did you choose what programs would be on this show? We talk to each athlete, we choose who wants to show what. In fact, we alternate some of the numbers. Camilla was doing the Olympic short, and now she's doing an Olympic free skating program. I think there will be some changes. We wanted to prepare the numbers we did for the Russian challenge, but we showed them there first. How much were you nervous before you took to the ice? Everything runs smoothly here. When there was the show in Vladivostok, I basically prayed that I would make it to the end, because we didn't have much time, and with the amount of my skating and being on the ice, we went a little too far, as I thought, for two or three days of rehearsals. So I was discussing with the girls how they were going to take me out. But with time it became easier. Now I'm rolling, Glacianhaus said. Daniel Glacianhaus summed up the 2022-2023 season in Russia and in the world. The season is unusual, what can I say? The absence of international competitions, of course, is upsetting, but what was done by the Federation and the First Channel, that support, that number of broadcasts and tournaments helps for the audience and for athletes to maintain the high level that our athletes showed in the international arena, and not to sink in complexity, the quality of performances, the elements. At all the tournaments that we have had domestically, women's skating performed elements that we did not have at the World Championships. We will continue to show high level, and then we will look into the future, hope that someday we will be able to enter the international scene again and show there a high level and achieve higher awards. Is there anything you remember from the world season? Of course, Ilya Malinin is very impressive. I saw how easily he can do a quadruple jump and a quadruple axle. The level of the programs of the boys, the movements they show, we need to strive for this, there is a lot of work in this direction, said Glacian House.